Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Civilization 6 Rise and Fall as Cyrus for Persia on DT. We're at war. That's cool. No, it's actually not. <sighs> so, most people, actually pretty much everyone is at war with at least someone. I mean, if I remember correctly, isn't he at war with Germany too? But I guess there is not really anything happening. Wow, this guy has disgustingly many troops. If he declares war too, then it gets a bit too annoying. To be honest. Alright, the city state stuff. I wanted to finish this game the last time, but thanks to the war I did really not have enough time to go for a full episode anymore. Because one full episode, oh, let's say for one hour of episode would not have been enough. So next turn we can go for field cannons. The Bombard decided to go back down here, okay. But cities do zone of control, right? Because I would be bummed out big time. I mean I don't do much damage to them. Which is fine, it's more for the experience. Actually, I should keep them in my cities. Not that they die. The muskets are still... Oh my god, I have no chance against them. But a musket in a city could improve the city defense. Huh? I'll still bring them down here. But I think I'll keep one up here. Actually, my city defense went up to 51. They changed something in that. They really did change something there. I have to find out what it was. No, I send you back to this. this. The defense now stayed the same. I'm honestly quite confused. Poundmaker or Toronto? Let's go for Toronto. Classical Toronto artifact. That was the last one, if, if I remember correct. And I wanted to buy more. I wanted to buy stuff up here, but right now I have to save my money. Because I got kind of screwed over. Ah, not, th not this guy. I want to buy this one, but I also want to buy stuff in here. Finish the water park. Okay, um... Here. Oh yeah, and I want the temple and shrine. I have temple and shrine. Do I have a relic in the temple of Isfahan? Yes. Okay. And here, this is the new one. We have classical pound maker, ancient barbarians, classical Toronto. So I need a classical. Medieval, ancient, ancient. Both ancients are from Cyrus. Really? So again, I cannot theme anything. Really? I have one more archaeology museum. So we have three we cannot theme at all because shit is all from Cyrus. Ancient barbarians. Classical, classical. Medieval, medieval. Renaissance. Renaissance is bullshit anyway, but this is also medieval, but it's Cyrus.
both are classical and this one is ancient fine I will move this down here because then we only need one ancient that is not from Cyrus or barbarians or one classical that is not from pound maker or Toronto or one medieval that is not from Cyrus or barbarians so Cyrus barbarians Cyrus and Barbarians we definitely not take. Preferably also not Toronto and not Poundmaker. But Cyrus, yeah, Cyrus and Barbarians is a no-go from now on. Whew. Hey, we can scroll again. It works again. We could build a studio in 23 turns. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Neutralized for 3 turns. So my spy is utter garbage. That's the only thing the spy does is to keep that from happening and it happened. Oh gosh, is that annoying. And what we really want, I mean, this is good, but what I really want is this. Because it gives me a musician slot, which will give me more theming. We have the geared musician stuff too. We could certainly go for a water park. Does it matter where I place this? I don't think so. Even though it would be cool if this had some adacency benefits too. Okay, it takes uh, forever to build a building. I can build a seaside resort in here. A pier 4. Oh, but the Paridesa is also good. But yeah, I could build a, a seaside resort in here. That would be quite good. Sure, let's do that. That's actually more tourism than the Paridesa. Oh yeah, and we have actually the faith for our naturalist. I slept that over the last time. Let's see, with whom are you at war? I want to know. Because we're supposed to be at war with more people than just me. So you managed to make peace with them. Because I'm pretty sure you were at war with Germany. So with whom? They all made peace? I'm really sure not too long ago people were all at war with Germany. Now they are all at peace again. That's actually really bad. Because for some reason they hate me forever. Denounced. Corps and army, low productivity, different governments. Don't attack me, take this gift into consideration. Didn't work the last time, but I really don't want to war with him. Because his units are actually scary. And he also has German is now leading. Wow, by actually quite a bit. Wow, Poundmaker is also better than yeah in amounts of tech because I went for the expensive ones. And because I've started some techs and didn't finish them. Guess why? Okay, so we just moved again. No, don't go for my trade routes. It took me forever to rebuild them. That was super annoying, please don't. Mm. No, it doesn't do that much damage. I need mean, it is actually experience, so what? Okay. 
you throw my guy out of your corner. No, just throw him a bit far. I wanted to throw him left of the city, but there was a builder, so we did throw him further. I guess. A bit weird, but fine. It means more production for me. And I cannot. I have five envoys. Why can I not? For the same reason, I cannot. Guess it takes a turn to do stuff. Oh, this is scary. This is really scary. Okay, we move here. Can you move into the city? Yes, you can. And here. And you move into the city. Good, that gives the city a lot of stuff. We upgrade those two. I hate to spend money on that, but I guess I have to. I want this guy in my capital just in case. If this guy moves to Madrid. Dude, what? You should be able to do one here and one here. I guess... I guess we have to break it here. Because I really want to... Or do only the tiles... If I knew how the natural parks actually work... They ch breathtaking. Uh, they changed how it tells stuff in here. 968 tourism? What? That doesn't make any sense. Do the mountain tile count or not? I suppose they do. So now it does here. Let's go and do that next turn. And then I take this tile back and I should be able to do one here. City range attack. Can you please? There's really not much damage, huh? Oh, they are coming now down here. Yes, we really need to upgrade this. Because once these are in position, I need to be able to kill them. So I... I'm really not spending my money on things I want my money to spend on. Uh... Yeah, remove improvement. So next turn where I can assign my guy again to my capital. Really need the housing. And the tourism boost. Okay. Now they can pillage stuff which will be super annoying. Antioch. Dude, what? Okay, first... It's more money, it's more production, it's more everything. Why is it more money? Because... Because of this card. Uh, my city should be able to shoot too. Why can my capital not shoot? It has walls and everything, and the garrison in there. That really doesn't make much sense. So, infantry. Can infantry slaughter my units, I wonder? How much damage do I... I do not much damage to this infantry. I really don't do much damage to this infantry, that's super bad.
I will have my own infantry soon though. This guy nearly dies when he attacks. And actually my field cannons are not not much weaker than that guy. So yeah, let's... He still gets zoned if I move, so let's move, let's shoot. Let's shoot. That was more damage than expected to be honest. But I don't want to give him a promotion. So I guess if I attack now I will give him a promotion. But what if he gets one anyway? Now we will find out. Um, naturalist. Take trade war on Shaka. Yeah, I don't want any wars on Shaka. So next naturalist will tell us how it works. So tourism wise, seven two two nine six eight appeal seven four. Four and four. Here we have four, four, seven, and seven. So this has more because it has more in total. Okay. So this is four, seven. So this should have the same amount as this. Now we will find, because this tile has the same appeal as a mountain has, and these mountains have all four. So, since here we have two non-mountain tiles and here we have just one, but we still have one, seven and two, three, fours, just like here. So we now see if it makes a difference if it's a mountain or not. As soon as we buy the next next dude in here yeah sure broadcast center is what I like you you be, be be ready I think we have to get the cheaper upgrades next turn super annoying get the sword scorched earth yeah sure let's get the scorched earth so remove this. Let's see when we can make peace again. Because it must be like five turns remaining. Yeah, five turns remaining. Hey, I'm good. Oh. What? What? You can one-shot a field cannon? What? What? This guy has five... Okay, he has promotions that give him melee attack. But still, you can fucking one-shot the field cannon? What? While being zoned? Just a city... Oh, the river. The river kills the zoning of cities, of course. Shoot. Okay, this is fucking terrible. We really, 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 really need infantry. We cannot shoot the bombard yet. And I will not move out just to shoot the bombard. Definitely not. And you stay on fortification. And we bombard this. Which we can do now, but couldn't before. Oh, because there, there are all hills. Okay, fine. So in here, I will move this guy out, because you first of all should survive, second of all on this side it's definitely so you move into the city and shoot the guy that had a fucking promotion, which drives me crazy. You go into the city and stay on alert. Two turns, two turns. In here, you, cannot re you can repair out the defenses. Sure, just one turn, let's go for it. And no, we're not doing it, you guys, sorry. 
international trade routes? Yeah, no, I don't care about international trade routes. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Um, upgrades. Well, we can do it next turn because I would need to replace something, and I'd ra I would get a card next turn too. I cannot upgrade this turn anyway. So you have all your stuff. I get the feeling that this stuff here is glitched out. I cannot build broadcast centers and that doesn't make any sense. So the interface is actually not fully working here. It seems to glitch out for some reason. Especially, I think the water parks make it glitch out. Now it's here, yes. So I think the water parks occasionally make a glitch up. Yeah, I really want this. Hmm. You can send envoys, it's fine. <clears throat> so four more turns. Love to kill this guy. <clears throat> I guess we we'll just move here. We'll do nothing for a turn and move here. Peel 5. Breathtaking, really. We can build a, a thing there, that's good. Seaside resort, this is just 4. But 4 is decent. This would be uh, just how oh, the industry district kind of kills it. I will need another builder down here for some more tourism. Um, our governor can be assigned again. Go to our capital. We really need you there. So two more turns and then we get infantry. One more turn and then we lock the upgrade card in. Sadly, we have to replace a card with that. <sighs> Fuck you! Pound maker for us for a person that is such a fan of trade routes, you played yourself. I sent several trade routes to your empire. Then you declared war, which negates them and completes the trade routes. You're such an asshole. I don't know it. A, a useless sif, all in all, a big fucking douchebag as a play as an AI, and a useless sif to play as. He, he does a good job to replace Hiawatha, which was a huge asshole in Civ 5. I hated Hiawatha. Always expanding like mad, always ready for war, and never really a reasonable guy. Always super annoying. Okay, in here we can kill this. Good. We go for the upgrade card anyway. The question is which do we replace? We're delaying tourism right now anyway, so we repla replace that. Oh, we replace it. We don't have that many units. We don't replace tourism. Where is the upgrade? Tourism go back in. Can we kill this guy? Maybe. If I still had the other guy, I probably could. I want a city. God fucking damn, can I get a city? Thank you. So he's nearly dead. Uh, 
but he's dead enough that he shouldn't be able to kill my dad, my other dude, right? This guy dies, I'm going to be sad. Soon, soon, very soon. I don't want globalization because it replaces the internal stuff. I don't want international trade routes, although it's actually really good. But they will get. I just need to get peace. I just need to get peace. In here. Stitched out again. This is super annoying. Why is the cultural district glitched out so often? Why is the zoo in the and the broadcast center in the entertainment? This stuff is super weird. No, we cannot do that. Ranged attack, yeah, on Wait, what? No, not the guy! Give me... <sighs> Give me, please, the city. Oh, I'm getting so mad at stuff. <sighs> and just then, um, playing the game doesn't work properly. It's so annoying. And you cannot click on things, cannot scroll over things, cannot properly use menus. That's the most annoying thing in games. And the interface is shitty. And I should get my tea. So we are running away now, that's what we do. I say you don't. I say I'm going here. I'm going to kill you. It was enough. Which makes me proud. So, very soon. No, not the fucking dude. Give me this stupid city. Why do I have to zoom to the closest level? Imagine how super annoying city bombardment is in multiplayer. It's impossible to do. So it's cheap, it makes the city stronger. Bye. Am I crazy? Did it make all the cities stronger? I move you. Since stuff is cheaper, we let go for this. No, no. Because I want now this to good. And then I guess I build this thing. Now the broadcast center is in the industrial zone. Let's queue it up. So it is done. Let's place it actually in here because you cannot move the things. Ah, oh, is this annoying? So maybe the mod changed a bit. Um, um since I started, because at the beginning I did not have these issues. Writer. Sure. Jim said the bees were. No, I'm sorry. So where do you move, you damn loser? Oh, pillages everything. He lose. He moved closer. Okay, he's making suicide. I'm gonna get tea and then kill him.
I mean, of course I'm not gonna kill him, his land is too big, his defenses are too strong, and his land is not good enough. So, you thought you're, you're a smart guy, didn't you? Oh, too bad. You delayed my stuff for the last time. Oh, this was your idea? No, that was not a smart idea. You know? That was a... What? Um, yeah. Oh, I can only shoot at this guy. Finally shoot at this guy and go kill this guy. See? That's how it's done. Did I upgrade all of my units? No. Don't have the money for it, but I will have, have it later. And we have the archaeologist in here. If I remember correct, we have two down here. We have three down here. Yeah, didn't realize. But it's still easier, I think, to find one because... As you see, you cannot teleport archaeologists. Had discovered a great. Mm. In Antioch is actually a lot of money. When can we do peace? Next turn. He should be willing to feed me with money, stupid bastard in his dark age. I'm the only one in the golden age and Shaka barely managed to get a normal age. Wow, new units appeared from everywhere. Fuck you. Ah, the guy from over here thought it is smart. And sadly there was the unit in here. I should have never sent you fucking trade routes. Just gave you this road here. Why are we sending trade routes again? I I need the trade routes for the tourism. I'm still super annoyed. Because I don't enjoy this. This is just just so unnecessary. This is completely irrational behavior. Like I said, like a little child that cannot lose, that cannot accept defeat. Can I shoot from here? No. Still gonna upgrade it. Um, I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm going to move here and then smash this guy. Good. Here I'm going to shoot this guy. And kill this guy. And we have this city again where we have to zoom in and zoom out, which I'm still quite annoyed by. Wow, his unit is so much better. 70 base strength? Oh, yeah, because it's a core. Fine. Now get lost, you have less units than I do. You have a lot of money. I want all your money. You can have this. Incense. 77. I would love to get more money out of him, but fine. Then I don't have units in my land anymore and I can send trade routes. Let's get a lot of money. That's what he doesn't do anymore. Good, that's more. Let's see what he values. Does he value these two? Yes. Good, he values these two. The other, this, this, and this he has himself. Does he value the coal? No. Okay, fine. This and this. 
Okay, while is this stuff a lot? Okay. One five. No. One three. Yes. Five more. Yes. Five more. One less. Yes. Thank you very much, and I would love to denounce you because you're a fucking asshole. You're not interested in this? Friendship? Dude! Why are you such such a pissy such a Mr. Pissy fuck? Sure. Actually open borders is a smart idea. You have a lot of right drink. Ooh, you have a relic. You would give me the relic for money. Bosch and Bosch. Do I have Bosch? Do I have Bosch? It's the religious one. I have themed one religious. I have themed the other with Bosch. So it's the portrait that I'm lacking. Is the portrait actually coming? No, the landscape is. Um, wow, the next golden age is kind of hard. Um, I know faith buying pe people can be good, but I'd rather faith buy this one if I can. Wow, you have a lot. I'm not able to get this, I think. No, no way. can actually get this for rainforest. Ah. Sometimes getting some people like that will give you stuff. Let's see if that's true here too. Nope. Okay. I don't know when the Yuri went. No, it give me a little bit. There's oh yeah of course we're playing with the UI mod so the pop-up's not there anymore. Okay. So we don't need Bosch. Um we cannot do open borders because you're still in the mode of denouncing me. But the children would be quite good. You want money for that. Let's see what luxuries you have. You have way too many cities, dude. Do you value this? No, because I've probably given you already. Do you value this? You do value this. Um, do you value this? You do value this too. Do you value the incense? Okay, he values these three. Give me the artifact. Tale of Genji. Lady of Murasaki, okay fine. You will only give me one more. Would you give me like truffles? You have five truffles, you really He really values his five truffles a lot. Okay, 50 he does. Does he do 80? No. 70? No. Okay, it does 59. Okay, we found the good deal. Good deal. Okay. She is established established very soon. I have money. Let's upgrade the guys that I can upgrade. So I'm done with upgrading. I think I'm done with upgrading. No? Up here. I don't think I can upgrade the horses because of the yeah, don't it's fine. Then this guy. Hmm. Shoot, he cannot find anything. Um, government will change very soon to get money again. Get tourism. We're going for electricity. Let's see what we have planned out. Afterwards, computer. So it's like ten turns. Then our tourism will skyrocket. In here. Oh wow, that takes forever. Get you that. 
and it doesn't translate directly into tourism, I allow you to finish the campus actually. I want to buy stuff up here. We have envoys, we have a lot of envoys who give us money. Um, but I like to be safe. In here, I want faith to buy this and then the research lab so we can start on the Amundsen. Therefore, we will, we will do that. Will we have the money for this next turn? No, I think barely not. But we're kind of close. We're kind of very close. Well, we can start on the medieval walls. That will be kind of good. It just adapted to a kind of weird accent. So you're finishing that. Afterwards, I want trade routes again. Because some of them got pillaged. Which is very annoying. And I need another naturalist. We have 931 tourism without computers. That's ridiculous. Well, at least we will set probably a new record on the amount of tourism we generate in the end of the game because we got delayed so much. Wow. When you t speak about the devil. Exactly why I save up my envoys. So in case someone is like, five envoys into that city-state, I can say, six envoys in that city-state. And they will be like, what? And I'm like, oh yes. But in this case, it's just one. That will be sufficient. Blop. 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 Repair. Repair your art museum first. Puri shit. That's super important. Oh yes, the double shoot. What are you? You are landscape guy. What is the next one? That is important. Oh, blue jeans. But I'm probably not gonna get them. Portrait. The next one is very important. Important. I should stop trying to make jokes sometimes. Um, the landscape guy. We have landscape in here and in here. And some in here, so we can place them in here. Do we have another art museum with open slots in Ray and in Parza? We have an art museum. So I want to place one landscape in Ray or in Parza. Where are the city? Ray, I think, is over here. And Parza uh, is over there. So. Sure, send one to Ray. We maybe should get these two. We have open borders. We can make him mad with the last one. Ha! Is it Carthage again? It's Vilnius. Very calm music. A little bit relaxing, but also a little bit like it's too calm. Makes me nervous. Oh, yeah, and builders. I need builders. 
first the science thing and then I can start to spend money on builders. So But you're fine, I'm fine with you finishing the walls first. I would love do you have this one? I don't know. I don't know. Where is Magnus? Should we place Magnus up there? We can place Amani into Susa. Okay, we make a switcher. Amani. Susa. You? Sevi. Magnus? Isfahan. Good. Then, in here... You built the water park. How much is a builder? 600. Fine, I will build a builder with you soon. Actually, I want one up there. One in there. Which means I want this guy over here. Um. Go on a title. Yeah, I really don't want the other stuff, I guess. Well, money for me is it? I can get a lot of money. Ah, whatever, we finished everything but capitalism. No, oh, you don't have some certain walls because you're scratched. Well, so repair the market so we can tra get trade routes. Then we can. We got everything we want. Gold return from each foreign trader passing through the city. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Well, she can give amenities actually. That's that's at least useful. Let's go for that. Right. Money and then something in here changed. Yeah, the trade route one. Now we got the that's the problem. This is domestic and this is international. And this replaces the other one that gives plus four money and one faith. And if I want domestic, I want to have this and the four money and not this. Especially if people hate me and I'm not going for tourism, then I really think this is a bad move. I try to skip this civic for as long as I can. Because right now all my internal trade routes will not give me as much money anymore. And that's actually really damn bad. I mean, four housing, two amenities, and minus gold is also good at some point. I can do this actually soon. And this will also be good. I can lock in this and this once I have enough money. But I still want some money to purchase some stuff. In here, we should be able to get the last naturalist. Yes. Yeah, the landscape in here, and afterwards you go back to the Hermitage. Um, yeah, find your way down here. That's the fastest way. How many turns is that? Four, and this way it would be also kind of four, but this way it's five, and in here it's four. This way it's just as fast, but safer. 
safer by enemy units blocking you. Safer from enemy units blocking you by proper English to you speak it. So I need to buy builders, that's why I want some more money to repair this stuff in here. And of course for the seaside resort in here. How much appeal does this have? Four can build a seaside resort here too, especially if I chop this. You know it takes a moment to move down here. Three uses. Chop, chop, seaside resort, seaside resort. It's four moves. And I could anyway use more paradisas, right? Okay, how much tourism? These two should be the same. Seven to two. Seven to two. Okay. So it counts all the time. I just have no idea how the uh, what it actually projects doesn't make sense to me but the math behind it seems to be correct okay so we repair the bank we actually get overflow I could go into this. But I want the walls because they are tourism too. We have her in there. We have 1008 tourism. You suddenly like me! No, it seems you don't like me enough. I still think you're an asshole. The big one. A water pork for very slow. We could get Magnus in here. It's true. I will swap these. Get Magnus in here. And we can spam out the water park. Um for now we have Magnus up here. Builder, we cannot buy it yet. We need a little bit. Need two builders for sure. I'm looking so much forward to mods that enable unique tile improvements again to have to be changed. I love it when unique tile improvements have like adjacency benefits to wonders or something. When I have to even think more about placing wonders. For now it's just how can I have wonders down and cultural districts next to them? How do I do that optimized at the best? But that's all. I'd like to be I'd like it to be more than that. No, not you, but the builder is what I want. Then, my capital. Repair out the defense. Parza. Again, it seems broken for some reason, and I really don't understand why. Wait, this is not yours? Why is this not yours? You're the only one that can work it. 
Jeez. You have housing issues, get a neighborhood. Yeah, sure, get a neighborhood here. Although the seaport also gives housing, but just one. Shaka and me have the same score. Only I'm really starting to roll in culture. So, trade route we have slightly different governments. Trade route different governments, different religions, of course. No trade route to Germany. Trade route here. Open borders. No trade route to him. So pound maker in Germany really need a trade route. I guess I should get a trade route in here then. Oh, I had several wall buildings. They were just cracked. Fine then, let's go for two traders. We do not want to change. We go for future civic. In here. Yeah, sure. Repairing stuff is good. Wow, we will get a dark age in 10 turns, really? How should I get a golden age here? Really? Uh, even a normal age? The dark, the points are so high. I think no one will get a golden age because you need to build wonders and shit. Get great people, but they are not really available right now. Fill a policy card. Culture per citizen. An ally city. Science. Ah. And trade routes. So you really don't want an alliance? Friendship? Uh, fine. We will not lock that card in. Wrong one. Therefore, we will throw this out. And we will get this and this. Come on. Good. Wait, do I want the wonder production back in instead of the money? Because I got one builder. We'll get one more. I'm building the Amundsen, which is probably not fast enough. But yeah, I would like the wonder production to be honest. Let's do this. Or is it already time to replace? No, I don't think so. You go here. It takes so long for this because the road goes through this guy's territory. This guy is not capable of giving me open borders. Landscape, right. Um, I want... Kin... Wait, no. Kinying. Yes, Yung Yop Kinying is the one that I think I want in the other one, right? Because this is Sung Yop Kinying. We have two different. So one more landscape, one more portrait. 
Um. Yeah, this one will be one more portrait. More stuff. We will get more stuff. That's good. I mean, we need 14 more points. That's harsh. It cost us some tourism, but there is a chance that we win before then, actually. That is stupid war. Because of your stupid fucking war, we have to win the game in a dark age instead of a golden age. Which seems so stupid. We want a tourism we win a tourism game in a dark age. What? Guys, stop that. Oh, I didn't take Vilnius back. Seriously, I still have three left, but I saved them. Get another musician. How more are available there? Still more. Right, you. What can we get? Really? You give you force me Cyrus? This game they make theming impossible. A food market. Why should I want a food market? I'd rather have a housing market. Do we have one in the ball joy? No. We can get one in the capital, which we want first, I guess. We could also get some over here, I guess, right? But yes. well, the ball joy in the capital have priority, it just has two slots, so yeah. I may still just buy in here, get the seaside resort. You guys are going to be very annoyed. What? Tarsus? What? Huh? Governor Pingala is no longer assigned in Tarsus. Which city is Tarsus? Really? Really? Nine turns? I find the spy mechanic just annoying. I find it very annoying. I don't need it to win. Because usually the chances are just too low. I've made the experience that spies are not successful usually. And take forever to get things done. That's all super annoying. But it's fine. We go here because I'd rather keep her than anyone else. And you go to this guy. Wait. Give me the money thing. Go here. And to Germany we want one too, we should have done that first probably, because Germany is actually in a better shape. Toledo, why can't we build more stuff in here? You know, you can get housing, ooh, you can get a lot of housing. In here, can we finally? No. What? It's extensive complete. Let me guess, another Cyrus, and then down here, a Barbarian or Pound Maker. It will allow me to get a Barbarian or Pound. I will not get another theming bonus at all. Not even one. Even though it's not much that I need. I just need... The age is nearly... doesn't matter much, because Ancient is fine, Classical is fine, and I think Medieval is fine, as long as it's neither Cyrus nor Barbarian. And in some of the cases, not Toronto, which it shouldn't be. At least not here. And also not Pound Maker. While Toronto and Pound Maker, it could obviously be down here. Down here is the highest chance that it's not a good one. Is that a Venetian Arsenal? Wow. Really? 
<clears throat> Modern Era ends in seven turns. Yeah, whatever. Oh right, I forgot to buy the Builder. And I will change the cards next turn. I think I buy the Builder in here just to save some time. And maybe one in here, then I can move. No, it's actually faster if I just buy a second one in here. What? I couldn't choose. It didn't. Oh yeah, it doesn't give me a bomb. Um. So you have the stuff. Yes, you have everything. You like housing. Sure, let's get this. Susa. Go for this. No, oh, I can't choose actually. Tomuris, that's good. Medieval, yes. As soon as we can extract the last one, we can at least get one theming bonus because Medieval Tomuris is really good. Although I wonder how she got over there. Wait a second, now it seems to be fixed. Toledo. Nope. Oh yeah, ball joy. Twenty three turns you take for that. You have the water park, but I cannot build a building in there. The broadcast center is in here. This drives me crazy that it doesn't work properly. Because it costs me actually tourism. Cannot maximize it. Can I not reach Germany? Okay, I cannot reach Germany. Which is the furthest that I can reach? Makwa, Sakahikan, Murif, Mozomi, Neapel. Yeah, but very it's got me out. It's finally going to win this game. Oh, I've... no, I can buy the build the next turn. And switch away from money, because we don't need it anymore. I mean, there are still places I could build for archaeology stuff, because I think um, this place is still building for that stuff. But... I don't see money. I would have to search for archaeology sites. And I'm not going to do that. I don't think that we will find them in time. Yeah, sure, get here. Another great person. A writer. Very good. Um, um, people are not winning in science, right? Hmm, Shaka has the first thing. He has satellites, but that's all he has. It's fine. Yeah, we can keep this one. The production. Um, wait. Are you ready? You are ready. For which city? For the wrong city. That's too bad. It takes four more turns to get there. 
Um, yeah, then we keep it in. But we change this one. This is production for our capital, that's actually really good. One amenity and one housing. This is four housing and two amenity. It costs a lot of money, but pfft, who cares. I can promote someone. Let's promote her. More amenities. Six more turns until I can assign him again. Madrid. You got the stuff. No, you actually don't. But I cannot build it. Because your place is broken. Go for a builder. It's really driving me crazy that I cannot properly build stuff. Great writer. Pierre was right. Some places have it, some places don't, and I have no influence over it. Actually, I have a lot of money. Get an art museum. Queue up this. Queue up the water park. And the stuff is broken already. We can do this. Then in here, you move here. We cannot buy another builder anymore because I bought something else. It was probably not so smart. Music. We actually have... We have 2246 tourism right now. Do you guys think we're gonna win this? Are we gonna win this? Think so? Oh, I'm not so sure. No, we should win this really fast. 136. Let's see how much it's next. Before we go into Dark Age. <sighs> Open borders. Yeah, that's cool. Open borders is good. My tea did not stay hot that long. <coughs> or I'm playing longer than I thought. What? An enemy spy? What? If this is a portrait or a religious art, I'm going to be mad. I mean, you could argue, well, if I don't like spies, the spy mechanic, but I'm never using it, so how should I know? Well, every time I use it, they seem so useless in defense and offense. That's why I stopped building them all that much. If I go for science, I have usually two spies in my capital. One on the space thing and one on the industry district. But besides, because that's actually useful and they did, they, like 50% of the cases they managed to prevent something, which is nice. But still, I think 50% is not enough. Because it takes time to build a spy, to establish a spy, and to level up a spy, and usually you don't even get the promotions you like to have for the spy. Everything super annoying. The raven got stolen. So this is still themed. We have portraits in here. Landscapes in here. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know where it got stolen. Sure, let's go for the Estadio. Could have removed it for a huge boost. Should have probably done that. But I didn't. Then in here. 
This means the other guy will not be in time in here. See side resort. Can we buy another builder? Not yet. Next turn we can. This city has actually a lot of stuff to build. Got the library. The university. And this means you will be done until the end of turn. It 136 it was, right? 136. So we go up by 10. This means one of the like 13 turns. Probably a bit more because we will end up in the Dark Age. Sight. <clears throat> we can faith by actually this in here very soon. Wow, the Zulu bought the portrait. Fuck you, Zulu. Dude, do you give me a portrait? I will buy it. Make a deal. I know you have the portrait. We haven't used it yet. Yeah, of course, because if you buy it, you have to wait a turn. Come on, this episode is getting long. I want to win this game, end it, and play another one. I'm in the mood to, to wreck people. After people have been so ugly to me, this this game, especially Spain, I'm tempted to go for a domination. In Rise and Fall. Have I done a complete domination in Rise and Fall? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I've done science and culture. Also, um, culture is the most rewarding for me because you can you can do the dick comparison. Who has more and bigger wonders? Love it. I'm sure. Let's get to rocketry. Move here. Let's get another builder. Are you here yet? No. Take it. Take two more turns. This is disgustingly long. Oh. Crabs. Um. Yes. He will not like that, but I don't care. Barbarians and pound maker. Oh god. Barbarians is the worst. Classical. If I would make it classical, that could work. That could work. Classical Toronto. Fuck! Classical pound maker. So the barbarian would have been better in this case. And here you have ancient barbarians, ancient Cyrus, and ancient Cyrus. Medieval Tomuris. I know where that has to go. Themed. Then what else do we have in here? If I don't make a classic, that's shit. And ancient Cyrus, that's shit. Because this is Cyrus and this is Cyrus. You can make an all ancient Cyrus thing. Classical. Yeah. That's it, guys. We get will not get more theme bonus with archaeology, but we got some. What it took. This was our first. These artifacts were our first, and it took us to the last archaeology, or to the largest archaeology site to actually get this. No, actually, the second last, but the last archaeologist. Holy shit, that was super long. Okay, but we are still max tourism, like madman. Um, what else? Yeah, what else? I think it's just waiting for tourism to kick in. Waiting for victory. Oh, I could fade by. No, I cannot because the guys. Oh, come on! 
apologies, I will not do it again. Because you don't have any more. So, yeah, I can get the, the landscape. Still frustrates me, because I wanted something else. What the portrait? Oh yeah, right, I can ask Sulu now for portrait exchange. Who surpassed me in points again. Very annoying. But slowly I'm getting even science done quite well. I'm catching up. Wait, this one is 51 and you are 48? Ah, oh, he's considered ahead because he has finished stuff. Because he hasn't even started yet. He used the tech for the next, but he has he hasn't launched a moon landing yet. He has satellites, but no moon landing. And he has researched actually robotics, but not not other stuff. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Move here. Um dude, give me what I need. Make a deal. Where is your portrait? Are you kidding me? You have not even the slots for the portrait? You bought it, but you don't have the place to do anything with it? Are you kidding me? Or was it someone else who bought it? And I'm just missing it. Ancient Frederick. Ancient barbarians. You stole the raven. Asshole. Yeah, I think we can just. Well. No, that's a little bit much. Civi. Sure, Renaissance walls. My friend in here, this friend in here, goes here, and this friend in here goes here. Okay, I think next turn. I think we will not be able to build the Estadio in our capital before winning. I think we will be... Ah oh shoot, I forgot to buy the thing here again. Well, I'm creating so much, I will get it anytime. Very soon anyway. I can save up the faith if I really want it. And actually, I could go to steel. I could get to steel for for production and stuff, and for the, for the tower. Even though, I mean, all tiles in your civilization gain to appeal is super good. But where will I build that wonder? I mean, I can certainly try. Yeah, I can certainly try. Come on, let's try. Come on, game. Let me lock it. Thank you very much, Governor. Oh, we cannot assign yet. We cannot promote someone. Who do we want to promote? Actually, we can promote you, right? Strategic resort there. But the industrial zone thing is probably good. I don't know. Will we ever get there? I don't think so. This will be a lot of production. And not workable by the city anyway. It takes 10 turns for you to finish. 10 turns. That's rather long. More future tech will give me a governor every time. Wow. Wow. Well, can still not build the water park stuff. Could build the shipyard. But what use does the shipyard have when you don't even have tires to work with it? Let's get this. The builder though could improve Sevi or come down here and repair. Let's improve Sevi. Sevi has earned an improvement in here. Actually, an industry district here would have been good, and here both would have been good, but yeah, it was smart to move it here. 
three addisons here. Here it would have been four, but we would have needed to build a builder. And isn't this flat land? So we didn't know in the beginning. Then Paraza. Yeah, we cannot do stuff here yeah, for some reason. Let's go for the Renaissance walls then. Uh, yeah, can we reach Germany? Can we reach Germany? No, we don't. So let's send one to the Sulu just to be sure. Yeah, you do nothing and you do not. You move. Then we send Magnus down there. Magnus reassign. Although in four turns you will get. You know what? I don't care. I will just chop anyway. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. You will not get Magnus. Because it takes five turns till Magnus is down here. Which means for ten turns I will not... For, yeah, at least for five turns I will not have a governor in here. And Magnus is actually a decent governor for up, up there. Because I... I have an industry district in here that has Addison C and some stuff that would be better with Magnus if in four turns. Because in four turns I will improve Magnus to the max. Oh come on! Yeah, that would be fine, it's Germany. Declares a surprise war, really. If you join the war now for the last few turns of the game. Then I will pull a tron and go into the game and slap your face. The max went up too, though, but still we're getting closer and closer. This did, of course, not help because now here we have open borders and trade routes and stuff. So we do here. Here we don't have open borders because we cannot get open borders because he thinks we suck. But I think he sucks. Yeah, uh, that that'll teach him a lesson. Let's get yeah sure or can we reach Germany? No, we cannot reach Germany because we're at war with Germany. That is actually very annoying. Let's chop and chop. Her. Wasn't much production here, just ten turns. Wow. This is too expensive. Who built it? The Cree actually managed to finish it. Where was it? Down here? Yeah. It doesn't get finished that often or built that often because it needs an industrial zone on a coast. And people usually don't build industrial zones on a coast. First of all, you have to have a city on a coast, and then as an industrial zone on the coast, it makes sense to build on the coast. Tarsus, really? See, I mean, how could they protect where they're going to spy steal anyway? It seems so random. And we are in the dark age, and I think everyone else is too. Because I cannot imagine how people should reach the proper age. So, what can we do? I've never been in the dark age so late. Each artifact. Aha, aha, aha. There are no more artifacts. I got them already. Aerodrome building considered gaining error score for each element. Great person is earned. Okay, great persons are still something I can do. Really? Gold. Dark age, dark age, dark age, normal age? Is that what you guys got? No. What? Heroic Age, Heroic Age, Golden Age, Dark Age? Really? You managed to get Golden Ages? What? How? You damn cheaters! Now we win the game while everything is super dark. It costs us actually tourism. So in here... Yeah, go for the zoo. Humanities are good. Even though I have half a shit in the Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, right, they cannot move there. You you can build a seaside resort. You can build a paradise. Give this more appeal. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. How many slots? You have one. 
give two so it's not enough to chop and do the same over here. Ah, whatever. We're gonna win soon anyway. Do we have any Dark Age cards that we can get in that are actually good in this stage of the game? Combat experience, yeah, gold in cities, but amenity, nah. Production to nuclear program projects. That's actually really good. Farms plus one food, all cities plus two housing. 100% industrial sounds like this, but great people earn slower. Yeah. Oh, we have the theocracy bonus. Democratic legacy, production, housing, or district. Whoa, the democratic legacy is actually really damn good. Because we have lots of districts in our cities. Yeah, sure, let's go for the democratic legacy afterwards. And probably replace the industrial thing. Get this, very good. Industrial zones, tourism, that would be damn good, but it's super expensive and I don't produce enough people getting beaten to death. You get a scientist, but okay. Come on, another landscape, really? You own oh, the Eiffel Tower has been built. And you are such a fucking dick! You wouldn't give me this. You wouldn't give. Fine. So now the game is actually super boring. Why? Because the game is now. Wait. Do nothing and wait. That's it. That's all we do now. Um. To the landscape guy. Where do we have the landscapes? Let's check that. Because we can get, get one more theme. In Ray. In Ray. So let's go to Ray. Yeah, let's go to Ray. Let's do that first. For the theming and then the other two can go. Shouldn't we get more than one landscape? Because we have this one. And we have more landscapes in here. Siung up. And Han Kiyun. So if we pick up this and place it into an art museum, the Tushpa, and we pick up this and also do it in Tushpa, then we can get one in Tushpa and in Ray. Of course, I want one more in here because of demon stuff. So that's good. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah, sure, improve the files. And you... Uh... Do something in there. I wanted to do something, but I forgot. Ah, whatever, let's go next time. In Ray and Tushpa, where is Tushpa? Let's pause. Is Tushpa. That's this city. Ah, was worth it to buy an art museum in here. Nice. It's close to Ray. Although going on foot will probably be not faster than to just teleport. Come on game. Make your turns a bit faster because I really wanna finish this game. If <laughs> we have 1000 culture, <laughs> it's ridiculous, 1000 culture. I mean, how much culture do you guys do? 250, 50, 180, 100. You're such losers. Even in science, you're not that far ahead. I'm second in science output. Oh, 
but we got a theming bonus. Right, theming bonus with landscape, yes. And choose a civic, yeah, future. A governor, yeah, no, no, not there. Um, first of all, you go again to to Tarsus, yes, right, Tarsus, yes. And the promotion goes to this guy because that is more production. Then in here, we switch this out, even though it means the moon's a little bit slower. And we switch in democratic, democratic place. I mean, it also gives production, so it probably stays a more or less the same. In six turns, we got it. Let's see what is faster: our winning or that? Yeah, sure. Go to this city. And um, yeah, sure. Go to this city. And um, yeah, sure. Go build a mine in here. Yeah, sure, go build the Paradise only. Could actually build the Paradise only here too. Who needs. Yeah, sure, build this. Still 10 turns. Blech. This is the part that always takes so long, so he's actually gonna finish this if it takes 10 turns. Yeah, sure, some nuclear power. That's very cultural. Let's do that. In here we could build a farm. Yeah, sure, let's go for that. We don't have anything else to do, so... Yay! Farms! Next turn we can remove the farm in here. Wow, it doesn't tell us how it's calculated. Tourism lacks so much information. I wonder if they are working on a big update or not working on it at all. Because anything else I cannot imagine. I hope it's they're working for a big update that makes a lot of clarification over tourism. But I think they are working on the next add-on and some DLC civilizations. And definitely not on... UI stuff for tourism. I mean, it's fine that they work on DLC civilizations and on another add on. That's really cool. I like that. And I'll buy that. But uh, to be honest, I my hopes were there that the add on will improve the UI, at least in some directions. But it didn't improve it at all. We still depend 100% on mods to have a proper UI. I cannot, as a game developer, I cannot understand how such a huge company cannot update their UI to a proper UI. I can't understand. You will get a bang and then a then whatever. Because actually I stopped caring. We're up to 2200 again. You could have built a farm in there, that's true. Or the party days are down here. You can go build a farm in here. So steel doesn't give us anything. Sure. 
Sure, let's trade. I also slowly get the urge to pee, so game, please hurry up. here and then teleport to Susia. Have a little bit more up there. Oh nice, we get this guy. This guy would be really good. I mean 56. We're not gonna beat that. So we're not a governor. Door. Let's max out that guy. You, my friend. You, my friend. I don't know, you have tiles to improve. Go for a builder. And after that, my friend. Go for a seaport, it's actually decent for you. Another writer. But it is a. But it is a. Um, is there anything else that is workable? This is. Wait. This is... Is Madrid working on that? Yes. Then it's fine. Madrid is allowed to work on that. You can work on the other one. We just get them where we can. Could have maxed that out a little bit better, I guess, with the Paridezas. But it's okay. It's cool. Fine. And fun fact, I still think if we would go full science victory right now, we would still be able to get that, although we would win tourism before we get that. But we would still be able to get the science victory before he does. Of course we had to get the right people in here, but we could get it. We would build campus districts in all the cities we can, and stuff like that. So we can build a party design here or here or something like that. Science is yeah, let's go for rocketry. Then um ray. Yeah, should be good broadcast center. Then the artist in here go here. Do something, a landscape, how nice. You get some more writing in here. Get this guy. But who cares? Who cares? We'll get this guy very soon. 21, so like in 5 turns? Yeah. Probably not before I win. Then uh, the trader to Antioch, which is a lot of money and some production. Yeah, sure, let's go. Then in here, in here, in here, you can get one going here, and you can get one going here, cool stuff, 
near. Yeah, we're there very soon. Two turns here. Two turns here. Hey, we actually get a wonder for the first time. We never got this before. Well, we never really had the op option to build it. Because when do you have a city that has snow in its tiles and a campus district next to snow that is in its tiles? I mean, I built this city taking this stuff into account because I knew what, when I place the city far north enough I will enable me not only some exploits with the Tundra Wonder but also be able to build this if I do it right. You... Hmm... I don't know what to do with you. Go get a harbor. What for? To the campus. Somewhere. Yeah, let's get a campus here. Sure. Then you could get a paradisa. Could you get a paradisa? Could you get more than one paradisa? Yes, if I build it on the desert. So you have you have just one slot anyway, so get the paradisa here. So this city can work it, it's fine. Totally fine. Shouldn't most of these cities be able to build more better walls? I think most of them don't have renaissance walls. Is that glitched out too again, so I cannot build them? Wow. Poor Scythia. What? But, but if we go back to Scythia? Scythia has loyalty issues in all cities. Wow, I think this is so stupid that you can pressure someone out loyalty wise this much just because you're ahead. As if small empires would have the need to join big empire. Wow, one turned. I was fucking one turned by Germany. Wow, fuck you, dude. For scientific leadership, give me Scott. For swift and efficient travel, Amundsen. Fancy music. So we got it. So cool. Gives us a boost to tourism. Let's actually see again what it actually does. For the weird fact is it's. It's actually a bad one because I mean I got it now and it's so not relevant anymore. 20% science and 10% production in all cities. I mean that's good for science victories. Bad thing is it's in cold war in the culture tree, that's super late in the culture tree. So you need for the best science victory wonder you need to rush culture. What? That doesn't make any sense. Five great scientist points per turn, that's good, but still the same. It's super late. Oh yeah, that's about it. The rest is how what you need to build it. Oh yeah, it's cool. We got it. Yay! For some reason this guy cannot build... Oh, you can build a Ferris wheel again. No more walls. Afterwards, go for the aquarium and then for the aquatic center. We will queue up all of them. You know what? No. You know what? No, 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 no. Go for a... No, no, no. Go for a workshop. I will buy this. And then this. And then I will queue up this. Then, in here, it's still glitched out. No. Build this. For some reason it's not glitched out anymore in, in places. And I can finally queue it up. I don't know. 
This is so weird. Because I have this in actually many cities. Yep. Yep. Can finish the bank when it's just one turn. Yeah, you're still building it. Give it Ferris wheel. Get the aquarium and the aquatic center. Sure. Okay, cool. Then you go here, get a mine. Then in our capital where we have now a shitload of overflow for things nobody needs. And now this tile is open, which drives me crazy. Let's get a spaceport. Just for shits and giggles. Actually a one turn research lab is also fine. Let's go to robotics, just for shits and giggles too. Go to this city. Yeah, stay there, do this. Next turn you build a wonder in here, I've seen it. I've seen you build a wonder somewhere. Was it over here? It was in the city I sent the trade route to. I, I guess I've. Oh no, this looked like a wandering construction. But it's actually finished. You do this next turn. So are we going to win finally? Yeah, very soon. Like four turns. Still four turns? So long. Yeah, sure. Put an embassy in our places. Good. Oh, come on! I've got all the spies in my land. And I guess it's what GTA I does. Rather spy on the human player. Than on anyone else. I mean, in some cases it makes sense, because in some some things I am leading, so yeah. Cool, get this guy. We're getting actually closer here too, but it's still ridiculous. This one is really good for space victory. If you want to go to space, you need to get these kind of things. Oh, come on, this one would have been the best. 300% of the normal tourism out. Wow. That would get us ridiculously ahead. Hmm. Hmm. But I guess we get us this one, so this one can actually have an impact. While the rest doesn't. Yeah, sure. Hooray! We got some Eureka stuff because we maxed out this guy. Um, rainforest. We don't have much rainforest up there. We have not more than three rainforests left. So it will be 1500 sites. Damn it, would I love this one and this one. So yeah, it's, it's a good idea to spam out all districts. And, I mean, think about it. Some of these wonders I did chops for, what did the wonders give me? Some tourism, but only later on, and actually not that much. A district that would help me get this one or this one worth so much more. That's why I actually Wonder spam is not even that good for tourism victory. I mean, on one hand, it's actually cool that you can win tourism without spamming wonders. On the other hand, it should still be, I think, better to spam wonders than it is now for tourism victory. I mean, of course, the wonders like the Broadway 
or the Bolzhoi or the Cristo are obviously super good for tourism. But those are the tourism wonders. There are others, I mean, for example, the Hagia Sophia, nobody cares. That's a pure religion victory wonder. Gordian, um, yeah, sure, go for the broadcast center. Hagmatana, you have finished everything that gives you tourism. Yeah, sure, build some stuff. Get it. Let's just get it done. Ray. Oh yeah, and guess what? We are leading in science output. We have the highest science output of everyone. And we're not even focusing on that stuff. Okay, I mean, we have a really big and well-developed empire. That's what you need to win a game. It's just, at some point you can win any victory. It's just a question of which one is the fastest. And, I mean, in general, tourism is not the fastest victory. Usually domination, on six player maps, domination is. On six player maps or smaller maps. At eight players, I'd say science is the fastest. Because at some point it takes a bit long to move your units. And of course you cannot let get Shaka to a point where he is now if you want to go for domination. Now it's clearly too late for domination. Would take would be the slowest, even religion would be probably faster. Nah, religion would be also very slow because I've spent my faith on stuff. Oh, someone wants production? You want production! Um, yeah, go for a cathedral. You... You go for a cathedral too, my friend. And you... Go for a military academy. You... Um, get here. Get here. And you... The city can work this time. <sighs> What's this? Oh, this is my corporate move. 2300 tourism. And they could have made it even more extreme if we got this one. Actually, if we did not spend our faith on wow, another one, another landscape, if we did not spend, spend our faith on this, we would be quite close to get this. Because we were at 4,500 something, and we have now... Okay, I don't know how much of it I've spent around... But still, we would have like 5,000 now, it would be close. We would be, get, would be getting close to this one. On, on the other hand, he makes 29, he has it in two turns. So I think we would probably not be close enough. Unless he doesn't fake by it. Um, in here we would want to go to satellites, nanotechnology for nuclear fission, then everything else. Good, so we cleared that, more future civic. In here we have this guy maxed out. Security. Nah. 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 Whatever. Sparta. Ooh, stadium. Amenities are good for us. Nice. Some more landscape. 
Are we winning next turn? Yeah, we're winning. Dark Horse. Oh, cool. So when you win in a Dark Age, you get an achievement. Nice. I guess it's that. The worth of a culture is not measured by its accomplishments. But in how those accomplishments last, and how they are remembered. The beauty that you have inspired our people to create will ensure that our culture stands for a long time. Yay, we will stand the test of time, at least culturally. So here we have graphs. Culture pattern. Who cares about fucking losers? Tourism pattern. Alright, there is no tourism pattern score for some ridiculous reason. Science pattern. Oh, we're doing. We're beating him. We're fast. Oh, we were doing generally good. Catched up in here, we're always doing not that bad. Or at least good enough. This is so ridiculous. So, we have one. Um, I'll go in here. Because I, didn't I want to check something? Oh yeah, no, I wanted to check um, the achievement. Need to open Steam for that. Let's let's quickly check the achievement that we got. <clears throat> While the turn was over, it was a fun game. It was also a frustrating game, a very frustrating game, and a very fun game. Like, yeah, like the tights. Sometimes. Everything was right. Everything was fun and sometimes everything was frustrating and stupid in this game. I think this game shows very well the, the flaws of the game but also where the game is actually fun. Now search for the achievement. Dark Horse, win the game while in the dark age. Oh, that's everything then. Okay. Are there other weird achievements? Completely surround your government plaza with districts of wonders you own at the start of the turn. Okay. So, surround the government districts with wonders and districts. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if the capital counts as a district in that. What could... There's an achievement called what could possibly go wrong? Have an improved... That's a quill achievement. Um, have an improved amber resource in a city with a zoo and an archaeological museum at the start. Why? Amber, zoo and arch... That must be a reference, but I don't understand it. Amber, Sioux, and our archaeological museum. Okay, that's something you can do randomly. And as England loses city to disloyalty, which has an established fin financier governor. Exactly, okay. Be the first player to circumvent the world after Ferdinand Magellan has been recruited <laughs> by another player. Okay. Game of problem. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, some of these are really stupid of these um, achievements. You really would need to play towards them to really get them because they don't help you actually. Or are so super hard to get in a proper game so you really have to force it somewhere. Build a fishery Edison to the Great Barrier Reef Circle. That's actually kind of cool. But for that, the Great Barrier Reef would need to be in the game and settleable. Okay. So 
So that's it. This this let's play is over. We have done Persia. Next we'll follow. I will see. You will see. I will see. And see you next time. <coughs>